What's up, ladies and gents? Uh, Axel here. So, um, some of you might have seen the BSG's trailer for 0.13 patch, which includes sheets. Some of you might have not. But in any case, uh, you should watch it. You should watch it. And I'm going to break it down. There might be some parts which you might have missed and some parts on which I want to uh, focus, my, focus my attention. So, all right. It starts very simple. We see AUG, we see players. Um, first of all, I thought that this might be a new type of clothing, but no, it's uh, it's already in the game. Bears have those gloves, so nothing new in the first clip. Overview of streets, cool, 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 cool. This is a new Russian uh, PP, which is using the same uh, caliber as Gruza pistol. And lots of people think it might be pretty decent next wipe, especially if you run BT bullets. So this gun might be might be pretty pretty promising. I think what I want to mention here is that the train is coming down uh, into, as I assume, into the tube station. I'm not sure if we will be to will be able to explore it much. We can see some fence here, so I think it might be blocked, like there might be a small expo explorable area in there, but I don't think there's going to be a huge underground system. Not yet, at least. Alright, there are a couple of interesting shops right there. First one is Shistorichka, which is a um, easter egg for a Russian shop called Pitorichka. And this is this is how it looks like typical typical shop they just use six instead of five in the game and they sell different products typically typically food um i don't think we're gonna find my in there maybe maybe some condensed milk and the shop on the left looks like sviznoy looks like this shop right there there we go as you can see with the same with the same type of logo and that shop primarily focuses on selling electronics uh mostly phones um, I'm not sure if it's open. It looks like there is an entrance right there, and if it's open, we might find some decent items inside, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, right now, our guy is inside Shistorichka. We've seen, we've seen that shop a second ago. Once again, all these gloves are already in the game. This is not a new skin. Krutai Shavucha, which means cool, cool shawarma which is the type of food it says bsg right there and we've got nikita's face uh, in a cap and another funny thing is that the street is actually called nikitskaya nikitskaya street one uh, which is a reference to nikita i wonder what we have inside this is the cinema this is the back side of the cinema it says scary movie right there um so i assume the whole cinema is going to be explore explorable even though they didn't show a single a single clip of it in the main trailer. Pinewood Hotel, four stars, uh, ten floors, and so far from the trailer, I understood that not all the floors will be accessible, and Nikita mentioned that as well. Probably first two floors, aka the ground floor and the first floor, or maybe first three floors will be accessible. This is another reason which makes you think, which makes me think there's only two floors accessible. The room 206, so this is clearly a second floor, and if BG had a chance to show room 406 or 506, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't have done that. So here, lots of my chat told me that this guy might be getting revived, like if he's knocked out, his teammate is trying to revive him. Uh, that might be the case, but we've never seen this guy stand up um, and survive in the clip. We, we rewatched this, um, this whole fight for a couple of minutes, and I've never seen this guy standing up. And those two random PMCs having a look at each other and like waving hands, I think this might be an introduction to the Skiaf Karma. Sorry, not Skev Karma, PMC Karma. Um, I have no idea why this guy decided to betray this one. Maybe he has a bad PMC Karma or whatever. So as a thought, PMC, PMC Karma introduction. I don't know why I keep calling it Skev Karma, because it's not. This 
This is probably AK-101 or AK-102, 5 of 6 caliber, and this is a new mod. This, this whole gas block system is definitely new. Underbarrel GL with shotgun shells. So this is the fight in the hotel, and um, this guy is probably fighting either on the first floor or the ground floor, chucking the nade up. And as you can see, the whole entrance is blocked, so you can't go you can't go up. Right here, there is like a fridge or something on the stairs, so it's definitely blocked and there is no way up. And all of this stuff downstairs made me think that this is ground floor. It looks like a entrance, it looks like a reception area. You can see the name of the hotel, Pinewood Hotel for stars, all of that stuff. So probably only two floors will be accessible. Uh, the guy's fixing heavy bleed. I think it's the same tourniquet as we have in the game. I think it's called cat. So nothing new here. You can ADS and you can use iron sights with a GL launcher. I never knew stuff like this exist existed in real life. Like you can actually ADS with the iron sights. Boom. RS-12 revolver, we can see the bullets at the bottom right, even though the YouTube UI covers it. This gun is shooting same bullets as RS-12. Uh, with the best bullets, you can one-tap level 4 armors in the chest, and you can one-tap most of the helmets. I'm really excited for this revolver, should be, should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that was just an empty, an empty 5-7. And the guy is dead, by the way. That guy whom they were trying to revive, he's still there. He's still dead or knocked out. All right, our guy's approaching Lighthouse. First of all, you need to open the door. It says close the door, but you need to open it. You either need a key card or a special item to open it, I assume. Um, and maybe you will be able to close this door once you go in and nobody else will be able to enter that area. And the other thing worth mentioning is as soon as the guy enters that area, his gun disappears. As you can see, he's opening he's opening the door and he doesn't have a gun in his hands. So this might be a green zone. You won't be able to enter here with the guns. And even though BSG said that you can kill Lightkeeper, um, maybe not in the first iteration, maybe, maybe you still can. I don't know. But yeah, my thoughts is that you can't enter the zone without, um, without having uh, free hands. Like, you, you can enter only with no gun. And here at the last... At the last few frames... You can actually see a lightkeeper. Um, it's definitely him. If you can, uh, if you can compare him, one sec. You can compare him to the official art. It's definitely him. You can see his cap um, and the same the same jacket. So it's definitely him. It's uh, not somebody else. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if Lightkeeper is confirmed for the next actual patch, because Nikita said he's not ready yet, facial animations are not ready. And this is more or less it. This is the whole trailer. I hope you learned something new from this video. Um, I tried to mention things which people might have missed. Yeah, I'm very tired, I've been awake for god knows how long. So yep, yeah, if you can give this video a thumbs up and share your comments down below about the trailer, I would appreciate that a lot. Uh, and yeah, I think it's time for me to get some rest and maybe finally finish the RL interchange video, which I still haven't finished. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.